Okay, so this is actually attempt number two of making this video. Uh, first attempt, uh, my phone, of course, decided to muffle the sound so you couldn't hear anything on what I was saying. Go figure. So, if I seem a little ticked off in this video, that's why. Um, yeah, not too happy about that. Anyway, this video is more for myself for reference, uh, since I'm building my little door. Uh, kind of, just to get a little video on how to frame an opening, because, uh... Oh, it's an unfinished garage. Good, uh, probably good chance to see how this is done. So, uh, hopefully the lighting decides to work out too. We'll see. So, uh, you can kind of get an idea. This isn't, uh, exactly how I'm going to do it, but it's, this is kind of, well, I'll go into the other garage and show you too, but this is, you have a couple two by fours here, and then this is your outside, uh, wall pretty much and then you have your two a couple two by fours here that I'm probably going to be putting a two by six on top of these and then you have your right there is your outside uh, trim board whatever it's called um, and if I can climb up on the ladder here oh I'm going to use a two by six just so that there's a little bit more room for me to work with on the gym and flag brackets because as you can tell there's kind of it's kind of on the edge here. Anyway, uh, you can kind of see up there how it ends. There's, it, uh, you've got, focus, the two by fours there, outside trim board, and then we have, this is a, let's see, we have two by fours that go up across there. Then there's a two by six, which is, crap, can't see. They're doubled up on two by sixes here and kind of make a header board. And then a couple more two by fours on top of that. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those there, but then uh, across the top here, there's going to be another two by six. And then I'll climb up. Ouch. Oh, I'll climb up. On here, you have your center anchor and your header bracket here. Um, my center anchor is going to need to be way on that side of the door because otherwise the spring's not going to fit. <coughs> and uh, then the header bracket's going to be centered. It's just kind of nailed into these uh, two by fours up here. Um, and then it's just kind of the same all across there. It's uh, exactly the same thing on this side. It's just a little bit harder to see because there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, okay, and in fact, I'll just, I'll just open the door a little bit further. Get you. A bit of a better idea on how this is done. Assuming you can see, kind of. Come on, there you go. You got two by fours, outside trim, and then the uh, outside perimeter seal. Let's see, and then this is the. Uh, oh, here I'll show you. Then you've got the. Ouch! I did not plan this video. Well should have an idea on how to make this video since I already made it once but I'm trying to rush through it because it's cold out. You've got your outside board here which mine's not going to be painted but that's just what this is going to be here. And then you've got your trim which this is all going to be flush and then you have board here with your uh, perimeter seal on there. So that's the, that's the gist of it pretty much. Uh, I'm going to head over to the other garage because there it was actually done a little bit better. Finished garage in there though, so you can't really uh, see as much as the actual framing goes. Um, so you can see here how this was kind of done. Um, this is going to be, in my case, a 2x6. I would just do a 2x6 anyway, just again gives you a little bit more room to work with here. And you can see it worked out in this case, but a 2x6 for these uh, 
jam brackets to attach and they go as you can see all the way up so that the flag bracket and bearing plate are legged into that and then oh boy no I'm not gonna stand in the car uh, sorry the lighting sucks You can see across then, uh, that's going to be probably another 2x6 or 2x8. And then you've got in the center there, uh, right there, is the uh, spring pad and also the where the header bracket's going to be, which again my spring pad's going to be way over on that side. And then you've got your header bracket up there that's going to mount in the center of the door. and then. Pretty much the same deal behind this is going to be the uh, 2x4s that the outside uh, trim here is going to attach to and then the perimeter seal. So hopefully, uh, let's just venture back out here again. Hopefully this video gives myself kind of a somewhat of an idea on how to get mine framed out. I, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get that project done. It's mostly a matter of when I feel like it or when I actually have the time to do it. Um, yeah. There's really not much else new to share. Um, I guess there's a, there's a possibility that I'm going to be running a video of an old Stanley. Uh, it's a, matter of fact, it's sneak under here. It's actually the garage right it's actually that house right there. It's a yellow it's one of the yellow ones. I, it's the half horsepower deluxe ones missing the light cover but I will possibility I I don't know because they've got construction going on over there um, and I might do a video of the Chamberlain Whisper Drive in the 8355 if I make it down there today, which I probably will, but we'll have to see. So anyway, that's a small update for me and a uh, framing of an opening. Uh, if the video sucked, oh well, because again, I'm pretty upset that the first one didn't turn out because it's actually pretty cold out today. It's like 45 degrees and I want to get back inside right now as a matter of fact, so I'm going to shut up and uh, have a good one and we'll see about the video on that Stanley.